Today, unfortunately, our masjids have become really, let me be honest, our masjids have become clubs. And I don't mean a club where there's dancing and music, no. But it's a club for me and the boys and the people that think like me and pray like me and act like me and talk like me. That's what my masjids become now. Sometimes you walk into a masjid, honestly, I don't know what it is anymore. Is this a house of Allah? Or is this a prison? Is this the yard in the prison? I'm, I'm it's all about me and my crew. And this for me hurts. Because the masjid is the house of Allah. And this we have to understand. The masjid is not your house. It is not your property. It doesn't belong to you. It's Allah's house. And every single person, every single person that walks through those doors, Muslim, Sunni, not Sunni, Christian, Jew, Atheist, uh, Shi'i, Alawi, Tabuli, I don't care what he is. I don't care who and what he is. Any human being that walks through those doors, He's not your guest. He's Allah's guest. This is Allah's house. And it is your job. The people of the masjid, Ahl al-Masjid, to honor the guest of Allah as best as you can and make them feel comfortable and welcomed. Today, as soon as someone walks in, we, we judge. Who's, uh, we wait for him to pray. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Don't don't shoot him yet. Just just wait. Wait. If he puts his hands up. If they go down. If he put his hands to the side, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Bala forget madhahib, matalliba Imam Malik or Imam Ahmad. Matalliba bro, 100% he's one of them. If he's clean shaven, who's going to talk to him first? <laughs> yani again, we need to remember, is he your guest? He's Allah's guest. He's Allah's guest. 